This video will demonstrate how to create a filter that is easier for end users to work with in a cube data source. Because when you choose to filter what's straight out of uh, the data source, as we will state here, what ends up happening is that we have a pretty big filter that is, can be hard to work with for the end users. This one is basic, but in more complicated data sources, this is going to be rather overwhelming for most users to work with, and you're really limited with how you can filter this when you're working with a cube. So what we'll do is that we will create a set with or from the state. So we'll just right click on state, choose create set, and we'll go in and set state, state, and finally for the last one and there's uh, our those are the values that will make up our set we'll call this choose state because that will provide some direction to the end user click on ok and now we'll choose to show this filter and we'll have the ability to choose this filter type just like we do with other relational and then cube data sources. So we can do a multi value drop down. And then now be able to choose the, the states that we'd like to see. Or not see in our, in our view. And this is uh, significantly easier to work with than the filter that's with a cube data source when you just simply right click on it and choose to show the filter.